Good news. Descend and maintain 3,000 feet. Tower on 122.1 decimal one exec jet 810. So this is good news because this means the ATC has recognized the plan that we have set, right? No, no, I don't mean the actual ATC. I meant the game ATC algorithm recognizes our setup, knows what we're trying to do, and hopefully will play along nicely. So we're making that right turn on onto runway 24. This is when we would tune into tower. The grid tower exec jet 81017 miles northeast inbound ILS runway 24 approach. Exec jet 810 the grid tower. Cleared ILS runway 24 approach. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 wind 270 at 8. Alright, so the localizer is entered in. Uh, let's let's read. Cleared ILS runway 24 approach exec jet 810. Alright, so let's do the ILS. So the in this aircraft the computer is smart enough to switch me back to NAV1. NAV1 already preloaded with the ILS frequency. We are approaching glide slope real quick. Let me go to approach mode. Wait wait for the glide slope to turn. We have intercepted the glide slope and we are coming down. So it's going to go for speed 200. Flaps one. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. So, landing I suspect gear. if you landing set up the landing flight plan correctly, specifying that you want an ILS approach, the ILS frequency is already pre-entered into the uh, aircraft. Otherwise, you could come in here, select airport, E N A L. Go to frequencies and you could select ILS24 and put that into your active like so coming close to uh, final approach fix so let's go down to 180 landing gear landing gear landing gear bug I'm gonna wait for clearance. No, oh, let's wait. Light's good. I'm very paranoid about the auto ground spoilers, but they are good also. We have the running rabbit in sight. Seven point five miles to the airport. Radar altimeter alive. Okay, let's go for flaps two with one six zero and gears down. So one six zero flaps two gears down. And we lost the light. Yeah, a reminder to stay in instrument. I believe decision height is two hundred and sixty AGL. All right, why don't we internally set 200 AGL? Anyway, ground's coming up fast. Flaps full and speed down to 140. Now I gotta make sure my physical trust levers, levers match the actual trust levers in the game. That's kind of right. Just had to be on top of it. Wow, 
1000 altimeter landing posture we have cleared to land so I'm gonna take away the ATC window speed down to V approach 135 Microsoft Flight Simulator has a bug that might cause the longitude to come down lower than the actual glide slope. I'm on the lookout to see if that happens. Five hundred. Five hundred. Check on the glide slope speed. Good. Decision height, continue, autopilot. autopilot off, my controls. Auto throttles off, my throttles. Reduce trust levers gradually. Angle of attack at 3 degrees. Contact, reverse trust. Reverse green, spoilers deployed. Reverse trust off. Brakes slowly applied. Laps up. Spoilers will retract at 35 knots. Get speed down below 20. Exit runway here. All right, I'm on the ground. You guys don't need to watch me taxi. So I'll end the video here. Thank you for watching. The ground exec jet eight one zero taxi to parking. Oh yeah, lights, lights, exec lights. Exec jet eight one zero taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway. Green inspection for visibility. Taxiing to general aviation parking using taxiway exec jet eight one zero. Alright guys, thanks for watching.